Get up, get out, get around, and do it, do it! Hey, what's going on guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. What are we doing today, guys? We have two videos in one. So, let me start out by saying, Welcome to the Everyday Kitchen. Welcome back, Everyday Kitchen. Guys, today on the Everyday Kitchen, we're going to be making... Pancakes. Just some simple instant pancakes. Someone down now, one one. Oh, never mind. That was just microwave. <laughs> and the coffee pot. It's all coming into fruition. All right. Also today, we're doing a taste test with those pancakes. What are we going to be taste testing today, guys? My buddy from Canada. A YouTube subscriber. A good little buddy of mine. Superman Kev 2001. He sent me a box of goodies. In that box of goodies was this one product here. Uh, I have really bad eyes, I suppose. Ontario... Let's just say that it's Canadian maple syrup. Let's do ourselves a thumbnail, shall we? Okay. Thumbnail out the way. That's right, guys. Some real authentic Canadian maple syrup. We're going to give this stuff a try. And see how much more amazing it is than the cheap off-brand uh, syrup I buy. I always buy off-brand. I don't care. We're going to try this. So, let's start mixing up some pancakes, shall we? I don't measure... I just throw some stuff in there, what I think I'll want. There we go. butter I used is actually a no sodium butter that we got from the Mennonites in our town uh, zero sodium pretty good stuff too so I think the pans ready One thing I found that helps when doing pancakes is don't get the skillet over hot. You don't want it to be too hot because then it becomes a big mess. And that skillet I'm using is a mess. Uh, it's non-stick has been worn out for quite a while.
right, guys. Pancakes are done. Hmm? Two whole pancakes. Now, a little trick that I did uh, was I put uh, a little dab of butter in that hot skillet and kind of let it start melting and get all nice and good. And then dumped it on my pancakes. Uh, whenever you got like real butter in it, you know, real butter is pretty uh, solid out of the fridge. So just let it get in the skillet and you can just uh, let it melt real good and dump it on your pancakes. Works pretty well. All right. Fixing to open her up, guys. That's what she said. <sighs> Gotta do the sniff sniff. Let's just do a little taste test on the old finger reelo. Where has that finger been? All right, guys. Without further ado, I know everyone will want to see me pour it on the pancakes. Go away, Nat. You can't have none of my pancakes. I don't know about you guys, but we get gnats in here all the time anymore. Last few years have gone crazy with gnats. I don't know. Pancakes turned out really good. And even that bottom one got a little, little bit of crust on it, but I like that. I like a little bit of crustage. Crustage! Now I'm no syrup kind of sewer. I probably don't know one syrup from the next. But hmm. too early to be dancing. Throw a hip out. Well, from my taste bud perspective, it's good. Again, when making your pancakes, you don't have to let that, you don't have to let the skillets get super hot. Then it just becomes a big mess and a problem. Just kind of keep an eye on things. Uh, using a real good butter helps uh, because a real butter is going to coat that pan a lot differently than your cheap stuff, your margarines and all this different other crap out there that we normally use. So. Good stuff. Well, Kevin, I appreciate it. Again, I mean, you can't go wrong with syrup, can you? 100 milliliters. Ontario, product of Canada. Pure maple syrup. Hmm. I can't read the name. The name is in red and it's kind of blending in. But, you see the packaging? If I can quit shaking. There we go. That's good stuff, Kevin. I appreciate it. 
I mean, my wonderful pancakes, although instant, they're still wonderful. My pancakes mixed with the real butter, mixed with a nice Canadian maple syrup. Uh, and you can't go wrong with that, guys. I'm going to give my pancakes 5 out of 5. I'm going to give the maple syrup a 5 out of 5. And... I'm going to give my turkey bacon a 5 out of 5. Everyone gets a 5 out of 5. Mm. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go finish this up. Hope you enjoyed seeing me make my pancakes. Very simple. Take your time with it. Use a good quality butter. Use a good quality syrup. And you'll have a good quality product. Okay? Guys, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Put some stuff in the comments. Let me know what kind of syrups you use. Have you used this brand? Whatever that's called. Let me know in the comments. Guys, Get up, get out, get red, do it to it, even when reaching in the microwave and pulling out a surprise cup of French vanilla coffee. Mmm, yummy. We'll see y'all later. Let's go make you some pancakes. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!